final look at the parking. more close-up shot. This was a Wupaki stands for um, Cut Longhouse and apparently this was a pretty it was a large building any from anywhere around here back in like the early 1100s. It was a 100 room building at one point. Not really much remains of it now but This right here is the community room where all the people who would be sitting here would come and gather, do stuff. And here's the ball court of the Wapatki. Yeah, I went to the point that they say to go to get the best uh, shot of the uh, pan desert, but I think this one here is a little closer up. And, uh, Town, Sir Albuquerque. The church right here was mostly just um, stores selling Indian artifacts and stuff like that. So there'd be a restaurant here, but I uh, haven't found one yet. Here's another shot of the church real fast. I think it's about to ring a little bit in the background there too, but so far so good. Arena at the University of New Mexico. I tried going inside, but fortunately it's closed, even the uh, gift store's not open. So this is as close to get to going inside, but I did look inside the glass, and it looks like you go inside, just go straight down the Stadium is definitely built into the ground. That's uh, the name of the pit. Now it's off to Old Town. And here's the minor league baseball park here in Albuquerque. It appears as though Homer Simpson could not stop the Springfield Isotopes from moving to Albuquerque. This right here is where I had. Uh, some uh, breakfast and lunch today. Here's the big Texan steak ranch. Said if you uh, eat a 72 ounce steak within under an hour, you get it for free. It's pretty sweet. And this right here is the table where they all sit to eat the uh, big steak. And there's the clock that uh, counts down how much time they have left to uh, finish the steak.
And here I am in the National Route 66 Museum. We began in uh, Grants Park, Chicago, and ran all the way to uh, Los Angeles. No idea whether it's the actual Jared's truck, but this is what theirs kind of look like. Soar dramatically if they would just wear an Indian costume. And it would work even better if they had a feather headdress to go with.